I'm Gillian Marloth. I'm T. McDonough. Congratulations! By ordering this workout series, you've officially joined the Yoga Booty Ballet family. Like thousands of other people across the country, you've taken the first step toward becoming the powerful, beautiful, sexy goddess in training that you were born to be. The Yoga Booty Ballet workout series incorporates many unique and exciting aspects that all work together to deliver phenomenal and life-changing, body-transforming results. In this series, you'll experience the power of quiet breathing. You'll rejuvenate your body, mind, and spirit through yoga. You'll sculpt your body with unique ballet-inspired muscle toning. And you'll experience exhilarating, heart-pumping cardio and dance that will have you celebrating a whole new outlook on life as you shape your beautiful new body. The segment that you're about to watch is called Yoga Booty Ballet The Rehearsal. It's designed to give you an overview of some of the exercises and techniques that you'll experience in the upcoming workouts. We encourage you to practice along with us during this rehearsal segment before moving on to the exciting Yoga Booty Ballet workouts ahead. So get ready to experience a revolutionary new concept in fitness that will get your mind awakened, your booty shaken, and it will take your spirit to new heights. In this segment, we're gonna teach you the basics of Yoga Booty Ballet. Go ahead and take a comfortable seat in easy pose, Sukhasana. If your hips are higher than your knees, sit on either a folded blanket or a pillow. We start every Yoga Booty Ballet class with a Kriya from the School of Kundalini Yoga. Rub your hands together in this Kriya, creating excitement, heat, and energy. Envision your heart radiant like the sun, shining its brightness through you and all around you. Still your hands at your heart center now, bringing the heels of the hand to connect to the heart. Outstretch the fingers. This is Anjali Mudra, a symbolic gesture of offering peacefulness and respect for oneself and others. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. For the sake of this introduction, you're welcome to open your eyes. At this point in class, we always set an intention for the practice. An intention can be anything from a workout goal to a personal or spiritual desire. For the purposes of today, we're gonna to use this intention. I am now using my body to my highest potential. Close your eyes and repeat that to yourself. Release your hands and gently open your eyes. In all of the yoga sections of Yoga Booty Ballet, we use a breath called Ujjayi. This is a slow, controlled nose breath that is audible. Make the sound now inhale that sound. Great, close your lips and do the same. That is Ujjayi breath. It should make you feel very focused, heated, and centered within. Now we're gonna show you some basic technique. Bring your hands down to the ground in what we call tripod fingertips. This is oppositional energy, a sense of drawing energy up into your center and shining energy out with muscular strength. It's a suction cup energy. We use it throughout the YBB series. It strengthens and rehabilitates the wrists and even prevents carpal tunnel syndrome. We're gonna show the shoulder loop to you now. T's gonna demonstrate, drawing the heads of her arm bones up and then looping her shoulder blades, her scapula together on her back. Notice this crevice, we are looking for that and you'll feel it from the mid trapezius. It's a firm lifting between the blades. Try it at home while T grabs her weights. She's gonna lift and loop back as she does a triceps press. You will definitely see this in any weightlifting section of YBB. Now we're gonna show the shoulder loop with Gillian in a downward facing dog. 
there's a sense of lifting the armpits up, hugging the head of the arm bones in, and rolling those shoulder blades onto the back. Now she's gonna go into plank and use the shoulder loop as she lowers down in chaturanga, melting the heart between the shoulder blades. Now she's gonna use the shoulder loop in upward facing dog, rolling the shoulders back and together, engaging the back. Now she's moving to balasana, child's pose. There's again a sense of drawing the armpits up, lifting up on the back, and she's also using tripod fingertips here. T's gonna demonstrate here. She's gonna show us a good alignment of the knee. So when you go into a second position plie, your foot base is wide, the turnout originates from the hip, goes through the knee and to the heel. If the knee is turned in inside of the ankle, it's not safe. You want to have the center of the kneecap drawn over the knuckle of the second tuck. We show us a couple. Great. Will you hold one down for us? Now, she's going to show us neutrality of the pelvis. We're going to look to draw the tailbone directly down toward the earth. It's going to lengthen up through the central channel of energy. Just to show you what you might not want to do, take an arched back. It's really not safe. It collapses the low back and it releases the energy in the abdominal. You really want to draw that tailbone down, use oppositional energy to reach up. T, will you show us a tail scoop? Great. A tail scoop is not appropriate in a plie and we ask you not to do it. It doesn't do any good for your alignment. You can use the scoop and that tuck feeling in a squat, which Gillian is going to demonstrate now. Her weight's on her heels and she comes up, scoops under, and gives a tuck, a scoop, engaging, engaging the glutes. Try a few more. Tuck, scoop, squeeze the buns, keep the weight on the heels when you go down. In the tradition of yoga, and also that of modern dance, we've chosen to lead this class barefoot. You will find that over a period of time, working barefooted makes your feet very, very strong. However, anytime you use weights in the YBB series or in any other workout, we definitely recommend that you wear shoes. There's numerous moves throughout the YBB series that we explain at the particular moment. We recommend that you watch each workout at least one time before you try it. Still, if you're confused about any move, stop, review the move, and try it again when you feel safe. Most importantly, do what feels right for your own body. Take breaks when you need it and follow your instincts. Bring your hands to your heart center in Anjali. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a few deep Ujjayi breaths, coming your heart and your mind, centering your body. We are one as we are held in the invisible divine. We end every YBB class with the greeting Namaste. It means the spirit of light in me respects the spirit of light in you. Namaste. Namaste. With a blanket placed under your hips, sit comfortably lengthening your spine toward the sky and settle into your seat of honor and worthiness. Place the hands in Gyan Mudra, palms down on the knees, pad of the thumb and index finger lightly touching. Close your eyes and listen to your breath. Feel your connection and grounding to the earth. Explore the way your lungs expand and release as you breathe. Follow the breath as it enters in and out. Turn your hands palms up, sensing your connection with the higher spirit here. Explore the sense of infinity this mudra evokes. 
the thumb and the finger create a circle. And this circular energy is infinite. Look within your heart and notice that at your very essence, you are divine. Bathe in your inner brilliance. Relish in your sweetness. Feel this inner radiance wash over you like a wave as you inhale, it rises up. As you exhale, it crests, overflowing. Slowly, draw your hands up into the universal mudra of receptivity. Place the heels of the hand at heart level. Palms are up and open pinky sides of the fingers touching. Repeat this mantra silently. I am open. I am receptive. I am worthy. This is also a mudra for acceptance, surrender, and positive expectation. Shine your positive expectations out into the universe. See yourself living in that positive light. Now is an auspicious time, a time of goodness, sweetness, and light. That light is reflected all around you and within you your contribution to the universe makes it complete. It's true that from time to time, the sun hides behind the clouds, but the sun is always there. Sometimes it just plays a game of hide and seek, and that is the pulsation of life. Just as the breath comes in waves, so does the cycle of life. Fold your hands in Anjali Mudra for peace and offering. Truly, we can enjoy enlightenment many times throughout our lives, including this present moment, right here, right now. Humbly bow your head to your heart, acknowledging the divinity within you and all around you. We are one as we are held in the invisible divine. Namaste. Namaste.